Hi everyone and welcome to Nina Sofra. Today's recipe will be for one cake, very elegant by looks and by the taste, called Greta Garbo cake. Layers of chocolate, caramel and lovely vanilla cream makes a cake that your family and friends will enjoy very much. First you will have to prepare cake layers. Divide egg whites from egg yolks. Put egg yolks aside and in the egg whites put a pinch of salt and beat until soft peaks. Then gradually keep adding sugar until you reach stiff peaks. Mix ground walnuts and the flour together. When you mix them well, transfer them into the stiff meringue you previously made and with a spatula slowly incorporate. Then take cake tin covered with baking paper, oil the sides and transfer the mixture in it. Even it and bake in the preheated oven on 180 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. Leave it to cool off together with the baking paper. Make four cake layers like this, so three more. So I made all four cake layers and now I will make the vanilla cream. I'm making it with double boiler method, so I will beat the ingredients directly in the pot that I will use on top of another pot with water. So put the sugar and egg yolks in it and beat well until it becomes fluffy and changes the color. Then add pudding powder in it and mix until well combined. Add inside the milk and mix well with spatula. Put it over the pot with boiling water and make sure the water is not touching the upper pot and keep mixing until the mixture thickens. For this it might take 15 to 20 minutes, but it's very important to thermically make all creams that contain raw eggs. When it thickens and cooks well, cover it with plastic wrap and leave to cool off. Now it's time to make the caramel. Put the sugar on the pan and two spoons of water and start heating to medium heat and when it starts turning into bubbles just keep following if it's melting well. When it turns into a smooth caramel paste remove it from the fire and pour over three layers. This is a little bit complicated and you must be quite fast as the caramel thickens very fast. When caramel hardens totally, take the knife and start pounding over the caramel to break it into small pieces, as this way it will be much easier to cut the final cake afterwards. Put the cooking chocolate in the pan, add oil and milk and heat it until all binds into a nice and soft paste. Then pour it over the three cake layers, over the caramel layer and leave it to set. In a bowl mix room temperature butter and powder sugar. My butter was not that soft so I decided to bind butter and powder sugar with spa spatula first as I would make a big mess if I turned on the mixer now. The powder sugar would be everywhere. Then take the mixer and mix it until it all combines and becomes fluffy. Take the egg custard mixture that has cooled off, add it to the butter and sugar mixture and mix it. What I like usually to do is to measure the weight of the cream, so I will know that the layers on the cake would be even. Now prepare the cake base or a plate where you will make the cake and start filling it. Remove the paper from one layer, divide the yellow cream on four parts and put one part on the cake. Even it and then secure it with acetate foil and place a cake tin around it. I use the stretchable one or use the one where you bake the cake in. Continue with putting the cake layers until the last one. Finish with a layer of the cream on the top. Put it in the fridge for at least 3 hours, but preferably overnight. Get the cake out of the fridge, remove the acetate foil and the cake tin and even the sides with a knife. Put any glaze you prefer. I prepared mirror chocolate glaze. Decorate it by your desire and put it in the fridge for 2 hours. Then serve it and enjoy! 
Thank you for watching my video recipe for Greta Garbo cake and if you liked it please subscribe to my channel and press the little bell to be notified of all my new video recipes. Sofra Haneya, bon appetit!